So over here, as I scrub through the points, you can see that there's numbers over here that is displayed. So over here, you can see that this one right here are the seconds. So if I were to scrub through now, now we know that we are around 16.870 seconds right here. As I go around and then change around the frame right here, according to the frame, the subsection of the second that is a uh, sub second is changed around. So one second is uh, around, as you can see right here, it's around 33, 34 right here. So as I go around, that is what one frame is worth. And that is why it moves up drastically as I click on this, because this moves as per the frame of the video. So this one is second, this one is minute, and this one is hour. So if you want to be very precise in selection, what you can also do is select out, let's say for example, this one, and here the selection is made like 5.768. So I can change this around. I can go ahead and type this out into, let's say for example, 5.000 right here. And you can see that it moves forward and selects that exact portion, just like that. I can also go around over here and change that out into 7.000. So it takes three values after that. And you can see that that is a precise selection just like that over here. So I can go around and add in the selection right there, just like that, and go to, let's say, for example, 8.500. And then I want to add in the end selection to 8. So 0, 8 point, let's say, for example, uh, this is going to be 900, just like that. So under a second selection, just like this. So this is how you can set the exact in and out point by using the time code as well. So that is how the time code works. And you, you can, that is how you can utilize time code to uh, select the precise in and out point inside lossless cut. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.